It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans next on Madden Football. We are just around 10 miles south of downtown. You can look inside NRG Stadium in Houston, the home of the Texans. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. But boy, we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. About ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from Houston. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. So, out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen, year seven already with Buffalo. The last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man. I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as a result of him being your quarterback. Here's second and nine. Putting the tight end in motion. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That's taken in. It's James Cook. It'll get about six before he's taken down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. They'll come up to third and three. We'll try and run here with Cook. And he's only going to be able to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Three plays. No first downs. Time for fourth down. You spend all week developing your opening script. What are you going to do when you get the ball for the first time, Mike? Well, I promise you it wasn't go three and out and punt. But give credit to the defense. Nice job getting off the field here early. Get the ball back to your offense. On fourth down, honest Sam Martin to punt. As he is on to kick it away. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. You'd love to see the biggest jump of a young quarterback's career, Mike, being between year one and year two. I mean, you think about what these young quarterbacks go through entering their rookie year. They have the entire pre-draft process. Then the idea of being drafted and going to a new organization and learning what it means to play quarterback in the NFL. Well, in year two, everything's not new everything's not a first experience it allows them to just take a deep breath play develop rely on what got you here we see so many quarterbacks in year two really have their breakout campaigns and show frankly why they were the starter to begin with in their rookie year a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and ten they run with the longtime Bengal Joe Mixon 
He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Here's a toss right side to Mixon. Strong running there, pushing his way forward to gain a couple. Third and six. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. So, fourth down, and it's the former Chief, Tommy Townsend, to punt for Houston. As he's on here to punt this one away. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Bills offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. gun here's Allen that'll be caught downfield it's Valdez Scantlin how about 25 yards to start the drive first down and really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions his mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time and I think so often those two things are different being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success, and that's what we saw here. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looked like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air. And if they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes, it's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got the connection there to Valdez Scantling. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the 10. Big play there for the Bills. 33 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They'll come up here first and 10. From the gun, Josh Allen. He's got it at the three. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone. And, and he will take this one across into the end zone. Ray Davis, touchdown Buffalo. 
A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side, and in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Tyler Bass now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bills will take a 7-0 lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. This returnable from the four. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Texans offense ready to take over for their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. begin on the ground and here's Mixon and he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage call it a yard at most that's Gregory Russo in on the stop a second down throw for Stroud a very quick throw there but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Nico Collins was the intended receiver there. Third down coming up. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. First catch of the game for Diggs, and it's a first down. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On play action. Stroud. And the rush too strong. They're in there in a flash for the sack. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. Third down and nine. Here's Strap. He'll look deep here for Diggs. And he will score. Touchdown, Houston. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Now, Kaimi Fairbear on for the extra point. He's got it. 
and the Texans will tie things up at 7-7 here in the opening quarter. back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff on the return here's Khalil Shakir and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Bills offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession we'll try to break out of this deadlock we are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10 to throw that's complete to his tight end it's Dawson Knox the drag route we used to say this is day one install every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route especially for the tight end position and depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains Allen gonna give it to Cook and he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. Off the play fake. Here's Allen. To the left side and pulled in. Valdez Scantley. Four catches already in this opening quarter. Off to a hot start as he picks up the first down. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. He'll try again here, second and 10. Here's Allen to throw. Going right back to Samuel. He's got it again. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. Pick up of 11 yards on that one. Good for a Bills first down. Tight end going in motion here. Here's Cook. And a good tackle out wide will hold him to a gain of just three. Second and seven. Allen will throw. He's got it inside the five. And he's going to be taken down. 28 yards on the game, and it sets up first and goal. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. From 
from the four-yard line trying to punch it in. First down and goal. Throwing is Allen. That is incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Now it's Allen. That's brought in by the tight end, Knox. And he's in. Dawson Knox. Touchdown, Bills. Now Bass to tack on the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bills will move out to a 14-7 lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. There's no doubting the fact, Mike, they've made a clear point in saying we need to get this guy the ball as often as possible. And so far, they've had great success when they have gotten him the ball. I think defensively at some point, You've got to find a way to get this duo out of this rhythm or they're going to be in for a long game. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. On the ground, it's Mixon. And they're going to mark him down up past the 35. They get 11. And quickly pick up the first down. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. And he gets that one complete to Collins. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. On second down, Stroud. That's into the hands of Diggs. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one. The Bills with the early advantage. And more from Houston coming up in a moment. Set to go now on first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. A ball deep for the end zone. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. And next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. Throwing on second down. Stroud. A wide open receiver. It's Diggs. They'll move this ball way down into the red zone. Inside the 20-yard line. It is a big-time play for Houston. And even 30 yards. 
This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. On first down, it's Stroud. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. On the give, this is Mixon. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, but that's it. From the gun, here's Stroud. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range. But do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? Fair Barron's kick is good. And the Texans are back within four at 14 to 10. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Baron, after making the field goal, heads back out to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Shakir. Now an opening past the 30. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. So now here comes the Buffalo offense heading back out onto the field. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Going to keep it on the zone read. And just a short pick up there to about the 44. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He was looking for his tight end, Dawson Knox. And it'll be third down. Here's Allen to throw. He'll get that one to Valdez Stanley. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. And a pretty good punt there. A fair catch taken right around the 11-yard line. First and ten. They'll run. 
with Mixon. And he surges through for a gain of about five. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And he'll manage to pick up about four. Terrell Bernard, they're on the tackle. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. Hey, that ought to be enough. Yeah, he's got the first down up to the 25-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first. On first and ten, here's Strap. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. He's got the veteran. That's Robert Woods. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So often for a defense defending the passing game, the most difficult guy to account for is the running back out of the backfield. So a really nice job here, bringing him down before he has a chance to pick up any yards after the catch. On the handoff, it's Mixon. And he's going to bring this one close to a first down. Looks like they'll mark him just a yard short. Here's Akers. And the drive will continue. Good run down to the 44. And a first down. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. And he'll get this down inside the 40-yard line. That's a gain of five yards. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's caught right side, the tight end Schultz. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. It picks up 25 yards and gives them a golden opportunity. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Mixon. 
That's a nice pickup, bringing it down to the three. Second and goal. They'll go play action with Stroud. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. So that pass interference in the end zone puts the pressure on the defense. It is first and goal from the one. They look to run with Nixon. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Texans taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Texans move out to a three-point end. 17 to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. On the return, here comes Shakir. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Bills offense headed back to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Keon Coleman, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. carry it's Cook still fighting what a run shedding tacklers picks up nine on the play it's tough to completely celebrate Mike when you don't pick up the first down but that's a run you will take every single time I mean good yardage in a lot of situations it'll get you the first down just not here on third down they go with Cook and he is going to have a Bills first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. From the gun, Josh Allen. A pass caught right side by Coleman. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot net zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On second down. Hook. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. On first and ten, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes 
in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Out of the gun, here's Allen. That's to the left side, taken in by Coleman. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Nice chunk here in this good-looking drive. Pickup of 14 and a first down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Taking off. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. They'll come to the line now on second and two. To throw is Allen. That's hauled in at the two. To the goal line and in. Curtis Samuel. Touchdown, Buffalo. Extra point try by Bass. He knocks it through. And the Bills move out in front by four. It's 21 to 17. time final minute of this first half we'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way and they'll bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line the texans offense and running back joe mixon heading out onto the field they trail by four a touchdown gives him the lead drive begins with first and ten Big tight end, Schultz. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Here's a second and six. Now Stroud. That one broken up. It's incomplete all over him down the field it'll set up third down pretty clear coming into this game that this offense felt that they had a distinct advantage running the ball it was a matchup that they thought all week went in their favor and so far the results indicate that they were spot on from the gun here on third down it's down he'll get this over the middle to Diggs the Tech Tim's going to go ahead and use their first time out here. Clock will stop just under 30 seconds to go in this second quarter. Here's first and 10. Stroud going to set up to throw. 
throwing left side there, but it is incomplete. He was looking for Stephon Diggs there. It's second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. On second down, Stroud. Open man, that's Collins. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. to throw here on first down. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here as they stop it with 13 seconds to play in this opening half. to throw here on first and ten and that time the pressure too much he'll go down so we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills on top as we'll head over to Orlando Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He has the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Coach. Thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Well, they had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think, Mike, coming out here for the start of the third, that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. This one complete to Jordan. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. And that quarterback called that play in the huddle. That ball was only going to one guy. He was the first read, the second read, and the check down. And it was called to perfection. They got the perfect look and led to a nice game. The motion man here is Woods. A run here with Mixon. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. They'll go right back to Mixon. A gain of 11 on that one. It's good for a Texans first down. And that's a heck of a run there on third and one. So often these backs, they're just thinking, all right, just get one yard, pick up the first down. But not this guy. He's thinking, I know where the marker is, but I'm going to pick up as many yards after that as I can. That's exactly what he does. Fresh set of downs. On first down, it's Stroud. 
and they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Here's Mixon. He'll be taken down at about the 33-yard line. Matt Milano there to stop him. the gun. Here's Stroud. He's got a receiver. That's Woods. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. They get 24 on that one. Just like that, it's first and goal. To be a prolific passing offense in this league, you have to be able to both throw the ball from the pocket and you have to be able to operate and convert on third downs. And they've really done both at a high level on this drive. And to no surprise, they find themselves first and goal. To throw, it's Stroud. He pulls it in around the five. And they'll get this down to the three, but no further. It'll be second and goal. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. That is caught by the tight end. Dalton Schultz. Touchdown, Houston. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Fairbairn able to add the extra point. And the Texans extend the advantage to a field goal. It's 24 to 21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. On the return, it's Ty Johnson. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Pass brought in by Samuel. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go.
throwing is Allen. Going right back to Samuel. He's got it again. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. They'll motion over Samuel. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Allen will throw. That is downfield into the hands of Keon Coleman. And he will go all the way. Keon Coleman. Touchdown, Bill. Here's Bass now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bills have taken a four-point advantage. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. A return now from the four. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. And he just continues to chew off more and more yardage with every single carry. And you can see here with the numbers, Mike, for as strong as he was in the first half, it almost looks like he's gotten even stronger now here in the second. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. To throw is Stroud. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. And we'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. A couple of big plays to start this drive. How about 17 on this one? When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but... The offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second and a yard. the gun here's a give to Mixon he's able to get away from one man but those reinforcements they got there quick take him down behind the line the offense thinks that they can just kind of plow this one up there in the middle and keep the chains moving but not on this defense not only do they not pick up the first down but after suffering that loss now they've got some decisions to make on third down from the shotgun CJ Stroud digs on the reception he's gonna have the first down so they convert 
on third down with a pickup of nine. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw of the day, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy's certainly one of them. On first and ten, here's Stroud. Now he'll run. And he will take this into the end zone. What a run. C.J. Stroud, touchdown Texans. That one is going to hurt the defense. He's looking to throw, can't find anyone, takes off, and Greggy takes it the distance for an exciting touchdown run. And these are the plays, Mike, that just drive defensive coordinators crazy. You have all of his targets covered up, nowhere to go with the ball, and next thing you know, he gets out of the pocket, takes it all the way with his legs. He's just as dangerous with those feet as he is with his arm. Fairbear to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Texans go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Johnson now to return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Bills offense and Josh Allen head back onto the field. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. It's Allen. They'll set up the screen to Cook. And he'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. They'll get 11 there. And that's a quick first down. I like the call. Using the screen as a drive starter to pick up a chunk play and get this offense into some rhythm. It's clear this offensive play caller anticipated the rush of the defense and he was able to use it against them. Slot man in motion left. Throwing now, Allen here on first down. That pass caught right side, Valdez Scantling. That's 11 yards again, two plays in a row. And another first down. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Right side, pulled in by Samuel. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. One more time going up top with Allen. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Has his man. It's Samuel. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, 
but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. We'll get this down inside the 40. He'll keep it on the ground with Cook. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. From the gun, Josh Allen. That's going to be incomplete, and the clock will stop. Likely one more play in this third quarter. I think he predetermined that third down throw, and even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. He is two for two. That kick is good. So back and forth they go as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Stephon Diggs and the rest of the Houston offense set to take over again. This game level following the made field goal. So they need to put something together here. It begins with first and ten. A minimal gain here, only to about the 31. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Here's Stroud. To the left side, caught by Schultz. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. They bring a tight end in motion left. They'll run. Mixon has the first down and more. The first down there on a pickup of 17. That's a heck of a run right here, Mike. Tie game, fourth quarter. Everything's on the line. Can you win in the trenches? Can the threat of that run continue to balance off the pass? And that's a big game there as they try to go take this lead. The motion man here is Woods. Open man, downfield, it's Nico Collins. And he's in. Nico Collins. Touchdown, Houston. Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, 
they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now the pressure shifts to your defense. Your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? Now Fairbairn for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Texans will go up by seven. So the lead is seven now. Here in this fourth quarter, the tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The visitors' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Receiver headed right. On first and ten, it's Allen. A pass caught right side by Coleman. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of a team game. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Out of the gun, here's Allen. He gets it to Samuel, left side. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times. And they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes. And once you do, you can try to go for the big one. Allen on third down. He's got the connection there to Valdez Scantling. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. They'll motion over Samuel. A oh, very nice defensive play there. Don't let the complete passes if they're going to end up like that. It's a completion, but a loss of yards. Second and 11. From the gun, it's Allen. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, with great, great separation downfield. And now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. On third down, it's Allen. They try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. They're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. 
This is a guy that we're used to seeing make a lot of his plays in the back end. Mike kind of patrolling that center field safety position, but this time he recognized that play up at the line of scrimmage and he blows it up for a loss. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. They'll come up here first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. Catch me, that's Woods. And he'll bring this across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of four. They'll come up to third and three. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? First and 10 now from the 36. Now Stroud. The throw on the run is complete. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Really showing off the elusiveness after the catch. That's a gain of 26. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. first down it's Stroud that is knocked away incomplete good coverage there defensively all over him and it'll be second down a rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest I mean his completion percentage Mike is well above league average and frankly it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front they will work the middle with Mixon. And he will take this down close to a first down. Pickup of nine. They've got him a yard short of the sticks. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. He's got his tight end. It's Schultz. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. A uh, second down throw for Stroud. That is pulled in at the five. And the 
Texans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. A run on first and goal. And he's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. Couldn't reach that ball cross, setting up second and goal. Now, here's second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Touchdown, Texans. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Fair bear to add the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Texans will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Johnson now to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The visitor's offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Samuel has it working in the middle. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. scrimmage and now we're looking at third down great job here defensively Mike make them snap the ball again second and one they're not conceding anything make it third and one and see if your defense can come up again with a stop for no game he's got his man that's Coleman and he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield he's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now and a first down to boot. This hasn't been his best game by any means, but what I really like, Mike, is regardless of the score, regardless of the time of the game, he is out there battling. He's doing everything in his power to chip away and see if he can get his team back in this game here in the fourth quarter. They've got to find a way to capitalize in this drive. Continue to cut into that deficit. Every possession is critical. Take advantage when you have the ball. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Nice chunk here in this good-looking drive. Pickup of 14 and a first down. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for. That is going to be Paul in. He's got it. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Touchdown, Buffalo. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. 
Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Baz now for the extra point. The kick here is good, so they are back within a possession. That gets it down to an eight-point game. Things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. This will be returned from the six. A good return as he takes it across the 30. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. On first and ten, here's Stroud. He'll let this go deep for Diggs. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it. Continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him. Because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Here's a third and ten. Throwing is Stroud. This is caught. He got the connection to Collins. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. It's a big play when they needed it the most. 35 yards. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. They'll send a tight end in motion. On the ground, it's Akers. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's Aker. And quickly, the clock stops again. Defense taking the timeout. A buck 54 to go. Third and five. They'll drop to throw. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. Whistles here and a timeout. Defense going to take this one with 1.51 to go.
So now it's Kaimi Fairbair in a pressure situation. This to make it a two-possession lead. This one has plenty of leg. And it is good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Fairbairn, after making the field goal, heads back out to kick this one away. Johnson now to return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The visitors' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Here's Allen. That's over the middle and taken in by Valdez Scantling. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. How about 28 yards on the first play of the drive? First down picked up. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. He's got that complete to Knox. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. A second consecutive big play to start this drive. 29 yards on this one. Still some hope. Keyword some. No timeouts. They need two scores, and it's first and ten. That's brought in by the tight end, Knox. And he's into the end zone. Dawson Knox. Touchdown, Bills. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Now Bass to tack on the extra point. It's up and good. And the Bills are back within a field goal. The lead is three. The timeouts are gone, so this becomes a must. They're going to line up for the onside kick. He's twisted down, and a late flag comes in. We're going to get a face mask added on here. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to a knee.
So it's a win here for the Texans. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Texans, as we say, so long from Houston.